Hello, Shantara Cabrera here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. In today's video, I'll be teaching you all how to create your own digital planner. So I personally have a ton of notebooks that I write in daily and sometimes I get a bit unorganized. I find when I usually use something such as a planner or a multi-tab notebook, it helps me stay better organized and I believe that a planner will do the same for you. In this video, you will learn how to create your own cover page, monthly expenses page, as well as a to-do list and any line page that you want to get started with your cover page go to canva.com and type in planner or planner cover in a template search bar next click create a blank planner next scroll down on the left panel to find you a new background as some of you may know one of my favorite colors is green so i just went ahead and typed in green background i ended up choosing a pattern with stripes and then i went over to the elements tab to find a square after i found the square i adjusted the size and then i changed the color to white i went back over to the left panel and clicked the word text and added a heading I decided to just keep it simple and write 2022 for the heading and planner for the subheading. I then went ahead and sized everything up to my liking and I changed the colors of the front to the color that matches the background. I then decided that the background was too bright so I went on freepit.com and found this image and I just sized it to match my new background. I then went back over to the square and repeated the same steps as before but this time around I did go ahead and choose my own font. At first I got a little ahead of myself and I chose the font color to be my actual brand color but for the sake of this video I do want to show you guys that Canva actually has a color picker that allows you to choose one of the colors that is inside your background. Here's a comparison of the two cover pages that we just completed. The next page is our monthly expense page. Go ahead and click the duplicate button, delete the old text, and expand the white square. I decided to create a monthly expenses page because writing down my monthly expenses each month helps me tremendously with budgeting and making sure my bills get paid on time. The font I used to head this page is called Oregano and I changed it to match the green color that's in the background. Along with the title, I included a subheading to include the month and the year. To create a line to write the date on, you can either use the underscore key on your keyboard or you can go to the elements tab and type in line to create a line there. As always, go ahead and adjust everything to your liking and head to the elements tab because we will be needing four different squares. Try your best to adjust each square like it is on the screen because each square will represent its own category. Click subheading to add your text inside the box. The first box will say name of your expense. The second box will have a dollar sign showing the amount that your expense is. The third box will have the due date and the fourth one will have a check box. I found the check box by typing in check in the element tab and if you guys haven't guessed by now, we will need a few more squares to separate our categories. The last box on the bottom will be made for notes and make sure when you choose the color for that box and all of your boxes really, any box that you will be writing in, you want to make sure that it's a light color so that when you write on it, the writing will show up. What helps me stay organized and not be all over the place with my planner when I have a lot of things to do is a daily to-do list. My specialized to-do list allows me enough time to complete the tasks that are on my list and if one task takes longer than expected, causing me to leave a task or two behind that I'm still covered because of these three things. The first thing I will list is my task for the day. Then I'll write down on the side of it how long will the task take and at the bottom I'll put my top three priority tasks. I do have a video showing you guys how I implement all these steps to get more things done on my off days. You can check that video out by heading over to the description box after you watch this video. Here's a quick recap of how our pages look so far. Because I do a lot of free flow writing, I decided to go ahead and make a journal page as well as a note page. To do that, I hit the duplicate button once more and then I went ahead and deleted the old content. The only thing needed now is the title and date. There are two different ways that you can get the lines for your journal. The first way is by heading to my blog by typing in www.ariaimpel.com and going to my sewing and DIY category, then clicking the blog post that says blank lines for Canva projects. Then use your mouse to click the button that says click here to access these free lines. To use these lines, go ahead and click the pen at the bottom that says use template. Then you want to basically copy and paste the lines into your new project. I have detailed instructions on my blog post on how you guys can do this. 
at this point in the video i realized that i forgot to save my project so you definitely want to go ahead and make sure to save your project to something that you can remember the next thing I want to show you guys is another way to actually get your lines from Canva. So if you go to the background tab and type in lines, there's a blank page on there. However, the downside is that you first have to detach it from the background and copy and paste it just so you can get that border on your page. And then you also can't customize the colors like I showed you guys before with the lines that are on my blog post. And just to let you guys know, my blog is always linked in the description box. You do not have to pay anything to get these lines. Also, as I begin Again, to wrap up this video i want to tell you guys of course how to use your planner but i also want to let you guys know that this video is not sponsored so this is how our planner looks so far comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this design and let me know if you think this will be functional or not feel free to customize this planner with more categories that fit your lifestyle me personally i will be adding an inspirational quote category along with the calendar check out the suggested video above in the icons as well as down below in the description box so that you can add your own calendar to to your new planner to use your new planner you can either use it as a fillable pdf by going to the website pdf escape i will be leaving a link down below in the description box so you guys can see exactly how to do that two more options is to either print it from your home printer with your laptop or pc or you can have it printed at a local print shop or directly from Canva and have it picked up or sent to your home. To attach your planner, you can either use a heavy duty stapler if you have a lot of pages or you can use a hole puncher and put your pages in a binder. And then lastly, you can purchase a book binder machine to attach spirals to your planner just like the ones you see at your most local retailers. There are a few more categories that I will be adding to my planner. So whenever I'm finished, I do plan on getting me a physical copy just because I prefer to write everything thing down so i will update you guys whenever i do get that physical copy but for now i will be using mine digitally and i will also still be using my notebooks i started to create a planner last year at the beginning of last year and i never finished it so the pages that you guys see from today's video are from that planner i just wanted to basically show you guys how i plan out my daily life to make it a little bit easier and hopefully it can make your life a little bit easier too and thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to educate encourage and empower by sharing this video especially if you know it can help someone else and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video bye